in the general sense of central dogma in molecular biology, genetic information in cellular DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA, which is translated into protein. But most genes are not this simple. They require the splicing of messenger RNA, which is much like the task of joining of pieces of film or magnetic tape. Splicing is a two-step reaction. It involves conserved RNA residues of the branch point sequence and the 5' prime and 3' prime splice sites found in the intron between two exons that will become part of the mature messenger RNA. Commonly, splicing occurs between multiple exons of a gene and gives rise to protein variants. For example, Down syndrome cell adhesion molecule has over 38,000 possible isoforms in Drosophila. While splicing is fundamental, more than 200 human diseases appear to be caused by mutations that occur specifically at splice sites. Consider the spliceosome, the cellular machinery which carries out splicing, versus the ribosome which synthesizes protein. Built from RNA and protein to choreograph splicing, this spliceosome assumes an extended asymmetric morphology compared to the ribosome, which exhibits a more isometric shape. Both harness molecular organization of RNAs in their catalytic sites. Spliceosome machinery is highly dynamic, and to catalyze each two-step splicing reaction, it assembles in an orderly fashion. Our understanding of this pathway has increased with improved resolution of a number of particles involved in assembly, which together must function to coordinate pre-mRNA in 3D space. First, to recognize splice sites, to anchor them, and to remodel RNA, moving it to and from the catalytic center so as to facilitate step one and then step two of the splicing reaction. The focus of this visualization is the structure of a yeast spliceosome at 3.6 angstroms resolution solved by the Shi Yi Gong group of Tsinghua University. This spliceosome assembly organizes three small nuclear RNA molecules which rendezvous to make up the catalytic center and protein components that anchor them at or away from the catalytic center or function in remodeling and splicing control. The model of this spliceosome mainly comprises four subcomplexes. The U5 SNRP forms the key scaffold onto which the other three subcomplexes appear to dock. The plausible conformational flexibility of the spliceosome head and arms, the components found therein which will anchor pre-mRNAs close to the catalytic center in the central body, this large size and extended organization likely function in the choreography of proper splicing, especially of pre-mRNAs of varying lengths and sequences. The SPP42 protein acts as a central scaffold to which spliceosomal RNAs, which converge in the catalytic center, are anchored. The spliceosome is an RNA-directed metalloenzyme the catalytic center consists of three spliceosomal RNAs and magnesium ions. Phosphate groups coordinate two key catalytic magnesium ions, M1 and M2. These, during the two nucleophilic attack reactions of splicing, function in activating the nucleophile and stabilizing the leaving group leading to bond formation within the phosphate backbone of the pre-mRNA, and thus to splicing. Molecular contacts provide insight into how the spliceosome may assemble or reorganize during splicing. Consider PRP45 protein. It directly links spliceosomal RNAs and nine other proteins appearing positioned to effectively propagate changes that may occur at the catalytic center 
to any distant corner of the spliceosome. Besides scaffolding proteins, which function to anchor RNA at or away from the catalytic cavity, the spliceosome recruits RNA helicases, which remodel RNA in 3D space. Consider the central scaffolding protein, SPP42, as it lassoes over the nucleotide domain of the sole spliceosomal GTPase switch, functioning as a molecular clock, controlling helicase activity central to spliceosomal assembly and disassembly. The exact molecular progression of these events, however, is still poorly understood. In the context of the assembly and disassembly pathway, this structure likely represents the intron Lariat spliceosome. From this model, we know much about the catalytic center, and we can infer models which consider some of the choreography of RNAs during splicing. The positioning of the catalytic metal ions and the RNA triad also suggests the spliceosome shares a common evolutionary ancestor. The mobile genetic element, group 2b self-splicing intron, which is considered to have played a role in the evolution of the eukaryotic genome and the nucleus, which separates transcription from translation.